We're following tragic news out of Fort Worth, Texas. An African-American woman was shot and killed by a white police officer while she was inside her own home. This incident marks the ninth police-involved shooting in Fort Worth just this year alone. CNN's Polo Sandoval is following this story. So, Polo, what happened here? Fred, police in Fort Worth released police body camera video almost uh, not long after the shooting actually happened. The department said that that is hoping to provide both transparent uh, and relevant information as this investigation runs its course. But you hear from those that are essentially advocating here for the family of the woman who died. They're saying that that is not enough. They want accountability and eventually even an indictment of the police officer. We went from a welfare check to a woman being killed by the cops. Outrage is building over the actions of a Fort Worth, Texas police officer. Saturday morning, just before 2.30 a.m., police were called to the home of 28-year-old Atatiana Jefferson after neighbors noticed her front door was open. Heavily edited body camera video released by Fort Worth police picks up what happens next. After police peer through the front door, they walk the perimeter of the property when suddenly, police say, an officer spots someone standing near a window. Put your hands up! Show me your hands! Show me. The medical examiner identified the woman who the officer shot as Jefferson. She died at the scene. James Smith says he's the concerned caller who first alerted police. I feel guilty because had I not called the Fort Worth Police Department, my neighbor would still be alive today. In a statement, Fort Worth police said their officer drew his weapon and fired the single shot after, quote, perceiving a threat. In addition to the body camera footage, investigators released this still photo showing a firearm inside the house. CNN legal analyst and criminal defense attorney Joey Jackson cautions not to jump to any conclusions. You're going to release the fact that she has a gun in the home as perhaps what? To suggest she had a gun then, and that we were perhaps uh, fearful for our life? There's no indication where that gun was. There's no indication she had that gun. There's no indication that she should not have had the gun. CNN has requested the unedited body camera footage. A police spokesperson said nothing additional will be released at this time and that the department, quote, shares the deep concerns of the public and is committed to completing an extremely thorough investigation. Police have not named the officer who joined the department in April of last year. In addition to requesting the unedited body camera video, we have also put in a request for the incident report and dispatch recordings where we could potentially hear the initial call for service that prompted this to begin with late, uh, a set, late Friday or early Saturday morning. We should note that the police officer involved here, Fred, he has been placed on administrative leave pending the outcome of the investigation. We also reached out to the Fort Worth Police Officers Union for comment and they have not immediately responded at this point. So troubling. Was she at home? by yourself? Uh, at this point, we do have various reports that there was possibly a child inside. Uh, we also have early indication that he, she possibly lived with mom, but was uh, seeking some medical treatment at a hospital at the time. So at this point, we do, according to what we're hearing, and again, the story is still in its preliminary stages, there was potentially somebody else inside. But authorities have not really elaborated at this point. Polo Sandoval, thank you so much.